Short sale information. Relocation assistance in a short sale. Looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us today. Today, let's talk about relocation assistance in a short sale. Now, I've had a number of instances lately where the seller was not allowed relocation assistance when completing the short sale, and the sellers were a little more than upset. It's important we discuss this because short sale relocation assistance is not an entitlement and it is not a right. It is a benefit for selected loan types, selected investors, and qualified borrowers only. Not every homeowner who participates in a short sale will get relocation assistance. Now, think about what I just said. If I use this platform for the sole purpose of getting people to call me to list and short sale their house, I would be touting the benefits of relocation assistance, how plentiful it is, and how you can just everybody just gets it. But those who know me know that this is not the case. Unlike some short sale agents, as a default advocate, I have a responsibility to dispense the truth and offer assistance to distressed homeowners, not prey on their needs with false hope and offers of cash at closing when I know it won't happen. We apply for relocation assistance every time, regardless if the homeowner qualifies or not. Okay, so off my soapbox, let's get back on topic. Short sale relocation assistance differs by loan type, participating servicer, and investor, and lastly, the seller slash homeowner. Newsflash here, guys. The servicers don't have to offer relocation assistance if you don't qualify. If you have an FHA loan, the most you might get, FHA, the most you might get is $750 to $1,000. If it's FHA, you might get $3,000. For FHA, your payment on your first mortgage must be 31% or more of your gross household income or you don't qualify. If you make, if your house payment is two grand a month and you make 10 grand a month, you're not going to get relocation assistance. That's the way it is. Under certain circumstances, Bank of America and Chase have offered up to $30,000, although the most I've ever seen is $10,000. The large amounts are for certain special loan types only and usually involve uh, cheaper to pay than litigate. What you need to keep in mind is this. You are walking away from a tremendous debt, uh, tremendous debt with zero responsibility for the unpaid balance and in most cases zero responsibility to pay the income tax on that forgiven debt. In many cases you have enjoyed the benefit of living rent free for as much as a year. In the case of a second lien that was a HELOC, however the money was spent whether it's on the house or a small business or something else, you don't have to pay it back. Now, I know this is not going to be a popular post because it does not promise living free and getting paid to move out, but I would rather not work with you than tell you something I believe not to be true. Is a short sale right for you? Most times it is. Give me a call. Let's talk about your situation. And to find out, uh, get a better idea when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info for a free estimate or call me today for a free no obligation consultation. Call me today, sleep better tonight, and you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like it or not, that's what I am. Thanks, guys.